In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a infinite repeating automation. Now this is dangerous, so you have to do it exactly correct or it will keep running forever. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to start building your ultimate smart home. Now in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to set up an infinite loop automation. So basically it's an automation that will start and just repeat over and over again until you tell it to stop. What we're going to be actually setting up now is like away lighting. So if you go into the Alexa app and you go to devices at the bottom and then go into the guard section, under the guard section, if you tap at the top, it'll tell you how many things you haven't activated and they do have away lighting right here. So if we tap onto that, you can just put in your zip code and then check off the lights that you want to use for your away lighting. And then what that will do is it will turn the lights on and off to make it look like someone is home. I tried to use this, but it just did not work for me because every time I came home at night, basically all of my lights would be on. So what I want to do is create something that's customizable what I decided to do, instead of doing it in the um, Alexa Guard away lighting, I turned that off. And what I did is I created an automation in Sharp Tools that will simulate certain lights turning on for a certain amount of time and then turning off and then turn another light on. So it just looks like someone's home and there's lights turning on and off. So I'm going to show you how to set up that automation and how to make it loop because basically what we want is at night, um, if we are not home at a particular time, then we want it to start this away lighting sequence, turning lights on, turning lights off. And then also what we want to have happen is if we return home during the automation, that it will stop the automation and turn off all of the lights that it turned on. That way, whenever you come home, you won't have all of your lights on like in the Alexa Guard. So first, if you don't have a Sharp Tools account, you would just want to set one of those up. It literally takes about 30 seconds to set up a Sharp Tools account and everything um, is free to start. And then you do have some limitations if you don't want to pay, but you can have unlimited rules. So you go to sharptools.io and then just go to the rule engine. And then all we're going to do is tap the plus sign at the top here. And then we're just going to give our rule a name and a description. All right, so now before we get into all of the details of the rule, what we need to do is set up a variable. Um, so we're gonna tap on this three little dots at the top right here and tap on manage variables. And right here, what you wanna do is set up this away lighting variable. So we're just gonna click create variable. And then you would just type in whatever you want it to be. I'll just put away lighting too, and you can't have any spaces. So it's automatically going to tell you um, how to change that. And you just tap on the suggestion here and then that changed it for you. And then you would just have this be true or false and true is fine. And then you would just click create. All right. So now you can see that we have um, that variable here. Um, that's how you create it. I'm just going to use the one that I've already had created right here. And then we can X out of this. So the two triggers that we're going to have is one, when to start the automation and when to repeat the automation. So we're going to tap the plus sign and we're going to do a time trigger. And we're just going to say sunset because we want the lights to turn on when it's dark. Obviously, if they turn on during the day, no one's going to be able to see them. And then I'm just going to say maybe 30 minutes after sunset every day and tap off after. So every day, 30 minutes after sunset at this location, and then just tap save. And then we're gonna do one other trigger, and this will actually repeat the rule over and over again until it doesn't meet the following conditions. So we're just gonna tap the plus sign, we're going to do an event trigger, and we're gonna do a variable. Now here's where you're going to choose the variable that you just created. So we're just gonna choose away lighting, and then we're going to say when the away lighting changes to true, 
then trigger this rule as well. All right, so now in the flow section, what we want to do is an if condition. So we're gonna tap the plus sign, we're gonna tap if condition, and we're gonna choose mode. Now, obviously we don't want this happening when we are home. So we're gonna say when the mode is away and save that. Also, we don't want it running all night because you know most people actually go to sleep. So we're gonna tap the plus sign here and we're gonna choose a time and the current time is before and then you would choose your time here. So I'm just gonna do 11.03. And what I would recommend is choosing odd times. If it always goes off exactly at 11, then that's gonna be suspicious. But if you do it at 11.03, that's more natural. So we're gonna tap okay there and that is all good there. So basically if it's before 11.03 p.m., it will continue to run the rule. If it's after, it will stop. If the mode changes to anything other than away, it will stop. All right, now in the then section, we're actually going to do another if statement. So we're gonna do if condition and we're going to do mode. And what we wanna do is we just wanna make sure that the mode is still away when we start to run this. We're gonna tap save there. And then in the then section, as long as the mode is still away, I'm just going to put in a notification here. All right, so I just put in away lighting running. That way we know that the automation started and that's a good way to make sure that your automations are actually working correctly. All right, and then you're just gonna choose some lights. So I'm just gonna tap the plus sign and you wanna choose lights that you're actually going to be able to see from outside of your house. So we're gonna just tap action and we're gonna choose device and we're gonna choose our foyer light. That's right up front and there's a bunch of windows so you'll be able to see that light on and change that to be on and save. Now we're gonna put a delay because we don't want it to just turn on. We want it to turn on for a certain amount of time and then we want it to turn off. So we're gonna tap the plus sign, tap delay, and just put 305 seconds. Um, five minutes is 300 seconds. You kind of want to have it be around five or more minutes. It's up to you, however you want to set it up. So we're just gonna tap on save there. Now, after the delay, what we want to do is we want to turn the light off. So we're gonna tap here, and we're gonna tap action, and we're gonna tap device, and then we're gonna type in foyer light and turn that to be off. So that is our foyer light set up. Basically, it's gonna let us know that the away lighting is running because this is our first away lighting um, section for the foyer light. It's gonna wait 305 seconds and then turn off the foyer light. We're just going to leave the else blank. Um, basically, if we are in, in any other status than away, then we don't want it to do anything else. Now we just go to the very bottom where this plus sign is, and then what you do is create another if condition. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing. We're just gonna make sure that our mode is away. Tap on save. And then if it is away, then we want to turn on another light. So we're gonna tap on here and we're gonna to go to our dining room and we're gonna change that to be on. And then the same thing here, we're going to add a delay and we're gonna make that 205 seconds. I would recommend just making them like weird um, delays. And then we're just going to, after the delay, we're going to turn off the dining room. So how this would be working is this, it would turn the first one on and then it would wait the delay, turn that off. It would check to make sure that you're still away before turning on the next light, wait the delay, turn that one off, and then keep on um, going until um, you have all of the lights that you want to turn on and off in the rule. All right, so now once you add all of your lights, um, that you want to have in the rule, you can tap the plus sign at the very bottom and we're gonna do one more if condition and we're gonna go to mode and we're gonna make sure that the mode is still in a way status. Here is where we want to use our variable to trigger the rule to start all over again. Tap the then and we're gonna do an action. We're gonna set a variable. We're gonna choose our variable, which is away lighting and we're gonna change the manual input to be false, save that. And then we're gonna do one more here, action, set variable, away lighting, manual input, and set this to be true, and save that. So what that's going to do is going to change the away lighting to be false, 
and then it's going to change it to be true. And what that will do is when it changes to true, then at the very top here, the event trigger, when the away lighting changes to true, then it's gonna keep going down the list and then just repeat everything as long as all of the conditions are met. Now there is one more part of this rule that we need to set up, and that is what happens if the mode status is not away, and what happens if the current time is after 11.03 p.m. All right, so if that happens, what we want to do is we want to turn off all of the lights that are on, just to be sure that we're not left with a bunch of lights left on. So we're gonna tap the plus sign, tap on action, and then we're just gonna choose whatever devices you put on the left-hand side there. All right, so that's going to turn off those two lights if they are on. And we're gonna tap the plus sign, and we're gonna tap on action. And here we're gonna set the variable, choose manual input, and we're gonna change it to be false. So that will make the wave value false. And if it's false, it's not going to trigger the rule. There's one other thing we want to do. We may just want to get a notification um, once um, it ends. So we're just going to tap and tap the action, tap on notification. I'm gonna choose my push bullet here and just say away lighting off. All right, so let's go ahead and save this just to make sure we don't lose anything. And then we'll run through it real quick so I can show you how it is actually going to work. All right, so I just copied um, that automation that we made and I just modified it a little bit, put everything that I was using on a dashboard. So I'm just gonna show you how this will work. And basically I made the delay for the lights super short. Um, so we have like our home mode and we have our away mode. And I actually made the away mode the trigger just to demonstrate how this would work. So we're just going to tap on away. And then you can see our foyer light turned on our Alexa guard turned on, and then our robotic right. I'll start guarding now. Our robotic vacuum cleaner is turning on as well. Now you can see the foyer light just turned off, and now our dining room light turned on. There was a bit of a delay um, there just because the um, dimmer dimming up. And then also turned on our master light, and then it's going to go over and turn on our shower light next. There you go. And then at next, it would turn on our living room light, which is upstairs, which can be seen from the outside. And then what will happen is it will just keep looping. So once the living room light turns off, it's going to go back and it's going to turn on the foyer light again. Now, obviously, you wouldn't want to have the delay be this short, but I just want to demonstrate how the rule would work and what it would kind of look like as it ran. So then the dining room light turns on. And then the master light. And I can actually send our robotic vacuum cleaner home just by tapping this tile. And I can also turn off the Alexa guard by tapping this tile. Got it. I've stopped guarding your home. All right, and it got all the way to the living room, and then it's going to loop back to the foyer. Now, as soon as we come home, um, the foyer light is on now. Let's tap on home now. So then the foyer light turns off, and now none of the other lights should be turning on because that automation would have ended because now we are home and we are not away. So it won't run unless we are away. Well, as you can see, a looping automation can be very useful. You just have to make sure that you set it up so it will actually stop. Another handy way to use the looping automations is if you have, say, lights, and maybe you want to turn on the lights to be red, green, blue, orange, um, yellow, and then loop back and then do those colors all over again because we have actual lights out front of our house. And what I do is I actually theme those to whatever holiday there is. So if it's Christmas, they're red and green. If it's 4th of July, they're 
red, white, and blue. And I can just copy an automation and then change the colors. And then we'll just loop through those colors. Hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section of this video. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.